Hey, comic slash movie lovers, welcome back to E Money and the Old Man back with you again. So, a big day for Disney today. They came out with all kinds of announcements for the future of their streaming series, Disney Plus, as well as a lot of uh, movie and other TV announcements. They have a lot of a lot of Star Wars stuff going on, but today we're focusing on the Marvel stuff. They just dropped a bunch of new trailers for all the upcoming series on Disney Plus, and we're going to do our reactions to them in sequence. We're going to watch them, talk, watch another one, talk, and so on. All right, so sound good? I mean, I don't know if I want to talk, but we might. All right, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, turn on your notifications, and leave us a comment. We always like to hear from you guys. All right, so with that said, we're going to start with the uh, first look at Loki, new trailer. All right, let's go. Okay. And Loki cheats death again. Cool. Or did he? <sighs> Hello. I think he got thrown back in time. That uh, could be interesting. Where's the cue? You're taking me somewhere to kill me. No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Huh. Where I lie, I'd like to talk. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because we both know you love to talk. <laughs> How long have you been here? I don't know, it's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TBA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. Glorious. Greatest hits. Hmm. Seems like they know you. Hmm. Well, so, I want him to go back and save the Warriors 3. Okay, there's a good thing, because I always hated how they died in Thor Ragnarok. Other than Hogan, who actually, you know, put up a fight, the other two just unceremoniously, yeah. you know. Warriors 3 are my boys. I want them back. Yeah. So, do that, and... Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't get a whole lot. I mean, do you know what the TVA is? Time something. Okay. And uh, also, Owen Wilson is uh, a part of the show, obviously. Uh, other than that, didn't give too much away, which I'm usually okay with. Yeah, I don't want to know everything. I mean, they don't need to give the whole show slash movie away in the trailer. So, you know, the fact that they didn't tell us too much about it, uh, I'm perfectly okay with. So... With that being said, next up we have our Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer, uh, first look. So let's jump into it. What you have to live up to? Good luck. 
complicated. Try and keep up. Ooh. Watch your speed there, Sam. I mean, how much time have they had to make a Falcon in the Winter Soldier trailer? Uh, been at least a year since, uh, over a year since. I found that to be a little wacky. Really? I mean, okay, you get some good scenes of the Falcon flying. Mm -hmm. You get that it's a buddy film or mm -hmm. a buddy show. You, know, you got the two guys playing off each other. Yeah. Where's the shield? I okay. I'm 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 guessing here. I'm spitballing uh, that uh, he he doesn't feel worthy of it yet, so he uh, has it locked away somewhere. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I need a little Captain America kind of stuff going on here. Well, if you know old old man Cap shows up in the show, you know again, I'm fine with them not uh, showing it in the trailer. Who's so, who's the villain? Who's the bad guy they fight? Well, we saw. Um, uh, what's his name? The uh, the guy in the purple suit. He he was in uh, he was in Captain America: Civil War. Don't remember. Okay. The Barrett? No, I'm not sure. But uh, he 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 showed up in the trailer. He saw a little glimpse of him. So the guy who's out to uh, kill all the Avengers in Civil War, we gotta look at. So maybe. I guess he is their uh, their uh, jump off villain in this. So, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier coming in twenty twenty one next year. So, hopefully, will uh, be some fun. All right. So next up we have uh, first look at uh, Marvel's animated series What If. So. Looks like that could be a lot of fun. That has that has a lot of potential. So oh yeah, what if was always one of my favorite comics because they could do anything. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got here. Space. So, what you doing out there all by yourself anyway? Exploring the world. Sounds fun. But why stop at one world when we can show you all of them? What 
if they were going to do the washer as the narrow. And dare to face the So much potential there, so much. So it looks like we got a couple different stories there. We have, uh, I think Yondo takes T'Challa instead of Quill, and uh, he becomes Star Lord. So that's interesting. And the the best one of all, I think, is Peggy Carter takes the Super Soldier Serum. And uh, see what else did we see? We saw something with Doctor Strange in it, where he has like a dark side or a evil twin or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, something with Loki in it, and oh, uh, zombie Captain America there. So, uh, a lot of great uh, stories that you can do on that one. So, uh, looking forward to uh, What If series on Disney Plus. What else? And oh, finally, we have the official second trailer for WandaVision. So, here we go. I think that's going to be a strange show. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. What's a single gal like you doing rattling around this big house? Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one. Yeah. What's it? Okay, so uh, a little bit more info on uh, what this show is because at first I thought it was like maybe a uh, like a, a prison of uh, Wanda's own making where you know she's living the happy life with Vision and Vision is still alive, but now it's looking like it's something more like maybe someone is controlling her and also it kind of looks like the other people in her uh, in her neighborhood are maybe in prison too. Or she could just be nuts. That, that's also a possibility. Now, with all these trailers coming out, all these new shows coming out, it begs the question, I mean, these people are still going to be available for movies in the future, right? Well, from what I understand, Disney is going to keep the same people in the movies that they have in their TV shows because, across the board. Because in the past... It's like once you sign on to a TV show, you don't get into the movies or get back into the movies. Well, they're saying that, uh, what's his name, Charlie Cox, that was Daredevil? Yep. That he's going to be in a feature Daredevil movie. Mm hmm Sometime. And, uh, you know, like Agent Coulson, you know, he signed on for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We never saw him again no. until Captain Marvel, where he was in a flashback. And they did very few crossovers from the movie world to the TV show. Yeah, I mean, we, we thought that the Marvel Netflix uh, shows were interconnected to the MCU, but never saw hardly any evidence of that other than, you know, a few, like, casual mentions here and there. A few Easter eggs where you'd see a poster about the attack on the New incident. York on the, on the background. You know, go, you know, go pick a fight with the green guy or the one with the hammer or something like that. But, never really embraced the, the, 
the continuity. Yeah. So that's that that always bothered me about the Marvel Netflix shows and you know the snap. You know, we didn't see anything from the snap in uh the Netflix shows. Yeah. You know, that that last scene in uh Luke Cage season two when he owns the nightclub, it was right after uh Infinity War. You know, he was, you know, standing on the balcony and looking out over the club. I was fully expecting Every like people to start turning to dust all around the club. Would have been a nice touch. Yeah, but didn't happen. So there was never any connection that really meant anything. I mean, I have to assume there's some contractual, legal, red tape bullcrap yep. that keeps that from happening because what writer wouldn't want to have the ability? Well, now I think about that. They might not want to cross over because then they're limited to what they can do. If if they have to stay in continuity, it's got to be more confining to write stories. Well, but I mean, you should. Yeah, I mean, stay up on it. I mean, do do the work. Yeah. So with all these shows, aside from What If, of course, then they should be able to keep the continuity and also still use these people in future films. True. Sure. Because. Absolutely. I mean, Doctor Strange uh, 2, I think Wanda's going to be in that. So, you know, whatever happens here, hopefully it carries over into Doctor Strange. Well, one of the things I always liked the best about Marvel Comics was the effect. Anybody could show up in anybody's comic. Mm -hmm. I mean, not just Marvel Team Up or Marvel 2-in-1, but just on any comic book. Spider-Man could show up, Thor could, could be in it, it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just If a story called for another guy to be in a story, they, there he they had, is. They had the creative license to do so. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to cut through red tape with you know actor contracts and all that. Right. So, definitely looking forward to uh, Disney unleashing the madness. Now, let's, now let's that go. they have control over their own destiny, they don't have to outsource it to... To Fox or Netflix or anyone like that. Yeah, I can't wait to see the first Fantastic Four trailer. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big deal for this yeah, one. Maybe. Yeah, speed it up. Speed it up, Disney. All right, so that does it for our uh, uh, Disney Marvel announcements uh, for today. Uh, don't forget, up next is our new Mandalorian reaction uh, reaction video. So uh, uh, be, be sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, hopefully with all these new... Uh, Marvel and Star Wars announcements coming out. We'll have uh, other stuff to show you in the near future. All right. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Excelsior. True believers, read more comics. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot. Don't forget we have our uh, video back issues with E Money and the Old Man coming out where we're going to be talking about our top 10 uh, worst comic book movies and best comic book movies that's coming out wednesday next week so be sure to stay tuned for that and, and send, subscribe and send us your opinions on what you think the top 10 are and the, and the, and the worst 10 are yep we'd like to hear from you all right so subscribe excelsior the, the true believer thing yeah yeah